Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Priya's English World. Speaking in English is fashion. I am making as your passion. Today in this video, we are going to see about our day 11 challenge. Friends, we have already completed our day 10 challenge. If you haven't watched my previous video, you go and check my video, especially day 0 video. because it will give a better clarity about our 21 days challenge okay friends i hope that you are successfully completed our day 10 challenge and today in this video we are going to see about our day 11 task before going to see our task i am going to give a demo for you so all of you just observe it carefully it will give more advantage of you So without any further ado, let's move on to the video demo one. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Priya's English World. Speaking in English is fashion. I am making as your passion. Today in this video, we are going to see about our day eleven challenge. And demo two. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Priya's English World. Speaking in English is fashion. I am making as your passion. Today in this video, we are going to see about our day eleven challenge. Friends, did you notice that two demo? And which do you prefer? And I would like that second demo. And today I am going to talk about this specific topic. We all are facing that same problem, which is in that beginning stage. when we start to speak in english we feel nervous we became anxiety lot of emotional problem we facing that that the especially main thing is when we start to speak in english the words become forget our mind the words become vanish am i right if you facing this problem i am going to give the solution to you and the second problem is when i started to speak in english i become fumble i mispronounced lot of words and what can i do and here is the solution so all of you watch this video till the end friends at beginning that day 0 video to day 9 video i used to speak very fast you know one thing i would like to share this things to you then only you will agree with my words which is i usually started to take the notes take my ideas whatever the ideas and opinions i have got in my mind i let them write in a paper after once i take the notes then after i i am ready to shoot my video and when i on the camera i just spoke the words what are the words i have read then after i forgot means i just off the camera and then after i go and see my notes and then after i will speak and yesterday itself i'm not going to done that and i realized my mistake i just spoke from my heart whatever the words and whatever the ideas came to my mind i just expressed it and then after i came to know that it feel relaxed to myself when you speak fast you become stumble you become stammer so that's why i would like to share one thing with you don't speak hurry hurry manner speaking fast is not determine you the way you speak fluent like that just speak slowly just speak calmly how you spoke your mother tongue just speak it because i used to done this mistake in my english journey yesterday itself i got to know that no it's a wrong manner that i am following to express my ideas to people very fastly by taking notes in my note now i don't have any notes i didn't prepare anything but i have that idea and i have that content in my mind i'm just speak what are the words come to my mouth if you feel nervous while start to speak in english just take a deep breath then just start to speak and you feel relaxed and don't start to speak very hurry hurry manner just speak very slowly like as your mother tongue because of that i used to done that mistake once i rectify it now i am speaking 
I don't tell that I'm speaking correctly, perfectly, without making any mistake, grammar mistakes like that. But I speak confidently. Confident is must. And let me tell you about our today's task. It's so simple, which is greetings and response. You all should need to do is just to learn some greetings and response. How you have to respond to that greetings. For example. what we usually say or ask when we see a people after a long day how are you we usually used to ask it and they reply like i'm fine and i have learned so many new phrases which is i'm pretty good not bad i'm awesome i feel great like that if you feel that you don't feel good means you can say not so good not so great not well like that so just all of you learn some greetings and responses today it is your today's task i hope that you all like this video and don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel we'll come up with day 12 video very soon till then take care and stay connected bye friends